Hey guys, and welcome back to another CanonFastReviews.com. Um, I was looking at buying the uh, Canon Interferometer uh, Remote Switch, and for the price, I it's called a TC80N3, um, but for the price, I just wasn't, uh, I just don't need it. I use all the little uh, smaller remote switches, I got the 5D2s and you know, but I, I was wanting to do some knife photography with my one VHS um, film and different stuff and I was like, well, I'll look into it again and I started looking at the knockoff um, remotes and I was like, that's probably good enough for the moment I'm going to use it. So anyways, I ended up buying one and it's just the, uh, um, what is it called, a, tin, a Jintu? And then my friend was like, hey, I want one too. And I was like, sure. So I bought the shoot version. Um, and um, yeah, so I bought the shoot one. And then I thought, you know what? I, this gives me a good chance to play with them before I give the one up. And then I can also decide which one I want. Um, so, and then I'll just keep the other one. And she can have whichever one. I don't really use, but I can tell you right off the bat though, both of these are great. They both do almost the exact same thing as each other, and I'm, I haven't shot the Canon version, but I wouldn't doubt it if these are comparable, and they might even have some upgrades, because that remote switch is pretty old now. Um, so these are definitely worth looking into. Uh, I shot them both, and um, I think in the end I prefer the Gentoo, I'm going to show you why. But basically, buy either one. You'll you'll like either one. Um, I'm not exactly. I can't say one is better than the other. I think that this one I prefer. But um, you guys can look at what I'm going to show you here and decide which one you think would work for you. But both of them are definitely worth buying. Hey, I just want to quickly mention. Um, I was just looking at the two listings where I bought them from on eBay, and uh, the shoot one was a shoot. But I realized the one, the other one that I bought was just blank. So yours might be blank, but it will come with a name, because uh, I didn't think I ordered this Jintu one. Anyways, I did a little research, and there's a ton of names, so don't go by the names that I'll, you'll hear me keep mentioning over and over again. Go by the design look, um, because there's here's some names. Uh, Jintu, G-I-N-G-T-U, is another name, kind of like this one, but spelled different. And then there's Yangnu, uh, Viltrox, Mekking, Young Cha, Prosh, uh, Godox, and JVC. And there's just tons and tons of names, but don't go by the names because this is just the design. Very quickly, the packaging, I was actually taking them out and I wasn't expecting packaging like this. It's actually pretty good. It's been impressive. I'm not a packaging guy, but um, it, um, so there's a manual. It has everything you need in there. It's a good manual. It's very clear when you read it. I think there was some spelling mistakes either in the Gentoo or this one, I can't remember, but I was like, eh, well, whatever. I, I get what they're saying. Um, and this is a nice thick padded envelope, so it's well protected. Um, that's the remote. And then this is the Gentoo. Um, so this one has a sliding case kind of thing, which is, I just wasn't expecting packaging this nice. I'm not a packaging kind of guy, but. Um, one is shiny, one is smooth. Oh, that's a big one. And um, so here's the remote switch, plastic. And you can see right off the bat, I think this is the number one downfall of the Jintu, is the size. It is a lot bigger, and in my bag there's not much room for more stuff. But um, I have both remotes and I got uh, whatever. It's not the end of the world, but that's probably the only downfall I've found of the Jintu so far. And I'm going to show you guys exactly uh, what each one does. So here's some uh, differences between the two and you guys can decide which one works better for you. Right off the bat, um, the Jintu has uh, about a four foot long cord um, where the shoot has a three foot cord, I think it's about that. Um, but the shoot has a much heavier, thicker cord so it's not going to rack. This one is very thin so you could destroy it over time. But um, I don't think I would ever need a cord, um, well I, I've been using them as they are tied up like this and I just loop it over my camera just let it lay there um, over the lens when I'm shooting um, so where you can dangle it wherever but I don't really think I'll probably 
won't need to undo these that often. So it's not a huge issue for me, the length. Maybe this would be better, so this is the less to deal with. I don't know, but well, I guess it's all bundled up, but um, what else? So I'll just kind of go over the good and the bad of each of them. So the good about the shoot is that it's a lot smaller. I've already mentioned that it's quite a bit smaller, which I like. Another thing is um, each of these modes here, um, how do I do this again? So I don't know if you can see that, but the modes, what I like about this is the modes have symbols um, and they make sense. There's your little timer. Um, then you got the uh, the breaks in between. So it's like shoot blank, shoot blank, shoot blank, displayed by little boxes. Um, your How long your exposure is, is kind of like a snake winding, you know, and then frames shows frames, which I love. This is probably one of the biggest things I love about this remote where this switch doesn't have it just you just have the words same thing as along here and then you just got this little bar that shuffles and that's it so I really I was kind of having trouble I was like delay is that the delay between the shots or is that oh no that's long is how long your shot is 30 seconds of shooting and then intervalometer like breaking your shots I'm like oh yeah so then delay was um, uh, like a self timer switch so it was a bit confusing but I think I now I understand the Jintu I don't think I'll have trouble but I do like that that it has symbols It's very clear on the shoot um, and then uh, the socket it's got the little socket holder at the back here um, so when you unplug and put your cord in to your camera you can put if you have a little cap like the some cameras um, that f or the US 3 film camera I think and whatnot um, now the things that I don't like about the shoot are um, the biggest drawback is this little battery back here if I can open this um, now these little batteries you cannot touch them. If you touch them, apparently from what I've read, if you touch this little battery, it loses half of its life. So it, it comes with this little battery, which is nice because you don't have to buy batteries, but it's on and you can never turn this remote off. It's always on forever. Now, I don't know if that's killing the battery or not, but maybe it's not. I'm hoping it's not, but you can never turn this switch off where this one times out after uh, I don't know, a few minutes when it's not operational and it will turn out. This thing I've had it like this for days and it just never turns out. So I don't like that um, and this one has triple, two AAA batteries which I like but that's probably why this is a bigger switch. Um, what else? Yeah, your lock button is your light button I believe holding it yeah so you have to hold down the little light button to do your lock hold um, where this one it says lock and it's by the light um, I never use this but if you guys use the lock then it's clear on this one it's not even written on this one um, one thing I really don't like is the mode shuffle so when you're shuffling through your modes, it um, it just goes this way and then cycles back over. You can't go back this direction. Where this remote, you can um, you can go back and forth. So if I'm way over here and I just want to jump back, I'm like, oh yeah, I can just jump back. So I like that because I it was just easier to use when you're in the dark uh, doing night photography and I'm like, oh, where's it going? I was just like, oh, I just go back this way. I like that. This is your little toggle on the side to control your time and whatnot. You can press it in, I think. I can't. Yeah, you press it in and it cycles from right to left. <laughs> and then to change it, you go up and down. But sometimes I would press it in and it. And also, when I first got this, it didn't. Feel, it feel, felt like there was a, like a plastic burr in there and it was catching a little bit. It's not doing it now. But it's kind of a funny, you can hold it and it cycles through quicker. It's kind of a funny switch and maybe you guys would prefer it. I'm sure it's fine once you get used to it. 
but I found it kind of odd at the beginning. You can only go to 99 shots or infinity shots. Um, me and the guys were shooting. We weren't wanting to shoot infinity shots, and we weren't wanting to shoot 100 shots. We we're trying to do about 150 to 200, which we can just go to infinity and stop. But this one goes to 399. It goes from zero to uh, from or one to 399, and then to infinity, where this one just goes one to 99, and then to infinity. It's not the biggest issue in the world, but I, again, I was grabbing this one because I could program exactly 150 shots and be done with it and not have to keep checking when I want to turn it off and guesstimate. Um, so some good things about this one. Again, I mentioned the AAA batteries, two AAAs. It turns off automatically. So you have your delay. That's like your um, self-timer. Um, long, this is how long your exposures go for. Um, in, uh, this is your inter uh, intervalometer. This is your breaks between the shots. You can change them from like, you know, having a quick stop or having a long stop between each next shot. This is your N is for your number of shots, which does make sense. And then one thing that this one has that shoot doesn't have is you have a beep. And some of, I don't prefer the beep. But I know there's lots of guys that love using the beep. Um, it would help you know when a shot is done and then next and whatnot. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I never used it. But I'm sure this is a really handy thing for a lot of you guys. So one thing I really like the idea of, and I'm not sure, you'd have to investigate in this for yourself. But it looks like this is just a sync cord or um, stereo sync cord, whatever. And um, it looks like you can change the ends to, like, say, Nikon and Pentax and everything else. I haven't looked into that. but um, at the back of the box So at the back of the box here, there's all the different um, Ends you can put on I think that they'll all be compatible. It looks like you can just switch out the ends and put in these different ends where this one just has your hard um, Cord whatever this is plug and it's got this like this older style. I mean, it's fine. It works it, I, I found it very hard to push in and pull out. I thought I was going to break it and everything, but it does work. It works perfect. It works as it's supposed to, but just it was tight. And then this one, you just stuff it in the side of your camera. But I like that uh, if I, I might look into the different ends and buy one for my Pentax and my Nikon cameras. Um, and then I can use this one switch for all of them, which is really nice. The LCD is way brighter on this one. So that's lit up blue. I don't know if you guys can even see that. And this one lights up orange, which was handy. Um, I know some guys at night photography, they don't want to see any lights. This is almost red. I know it's kind of orange still, but it's, I think it's a little bit easier to see than the blue one. Um, but some guys don't like a bright screen at night, but I do because I want to see what I'm doing. I don't really care about my eyes adjusting and whatnot. Another thing is just the size, it's a lot bigger of a screen, which um, I'm sure this is doable. I never, I just stopped using this one because I like this one, but um, I like seeing the larger screen. To start your shooting, you press start and stop, again start and stop on here, so it's the same thing. And then just for regular shooting, you can press and lock, or just press. So in the end, I think that I'm going to end up keeping this one, the Gentoo. Uh, I just feel like it's a little bit easier to use. If you need a smaller remote, go with this one. It has this lock, which is heavier metal, whatnot. Um, but I can't say that one is better than the other. They're just different. So I hope this ha helps you guys.